This is the poster talk about Alexei Research software ecosystem. Scientific software is being constantly born, used, run, and abandoned in their niche scientific areas, where they are part of their own scientific software ecosystems. Some of the targets of any scientific infrastructure supporting these ecosystems are focused on how to learn from them periodically, whether in their metadata, description, location, license, and status. Researchers learn about useful software components from publications where they were used. Catalogs of any kind where they are findable or are being benchmarked. Software or resources like websites or materials. Software repositories which provide runnable versions of the software. Or, in corner cases like ontologies, specialized portals. So, Let's start a journey through the Litsi Research software ecosystem with a very successful tool like BWA. A common starting point nowadays for a researcher is getting a container with the tool properly installed within it. So, searching at BioContainers, the BWA availability, we, can, we are able to find several versions and also some relationships with resources both inside and outside the Litsi Research software ecosystem. We can jump to buy other tools to learn a bit about the semantic annotation of the tool from different perspectives. For instance, there the researcher can realize about several functionalities of the BWA. An automated receiver would also be able to learn from these entries due the matching readable annotations provided using EDAN ontology. Let's jump again to open events in this case, where several technical metrics about the tools are periodically gathered, like the availability of the associated websites to BWA entry, the number of citations of the manuscripts associated to the tool entry, or different metrics from the software source code repository associated to the tool, like availability of license or uh, whether the issues are just uh, curated. Remediation work is done at several levels, like having the same tool in several registries or obtaining the same citation from several providers like Eero, PNC, PubMed and Wikidata just on the very same entry. Jumping now to Bioconda, we can learn there about the software dependencies of the scientific tool. All the Bioconda recipes are translated to Bioconda packages as well as Biocontainer images, providing the very same software components to diverse ecosystems like Conda and software containers. Last, but not the least important, Bioconda recipes can also contain annotations about where those tools are being used, like in Galaxy. A Galaxy tool for BWA for instance, is usually the combination of the tool itself and the different supporting datasets which help providing a seamless experience. At the technical level, all these components are distributed through the CBUNFS among the different Galaxy instances in the very same network, like Galaxy Europe, reusing Bioconda generated containers wherever it is feasible. As any tool can become a brick reused in more complex scientific uh, software structures like workflows and pipelines, uh, we can have a look at workflow hub in order to learn whether that tool is being used there in any of the recorded workflows and even the co-occurrences with other scientific tools or sub-workflows. Although this journey is easy with popular tools like BWA, it is only possible due to the combined efforts of all the creators and tool authors of the different software ecosystems. So, using standards and educating the community to adopt them becomes a strong requirement. And gathering annotations available from different software communities under a common umbrella increases the usefulness and sometimes the sustainability of the tools and the cooperation among community creators. So, 
a new annotation or fits provided by tool creators hopefully can reach other platforms, ecosystems, or even the software authors in the form of automated continuous integration workflows feeding back there. Aggregation of all this gathered and curated tool metadata is one of the many benefits of having a somewhat centralized metadata repository. Last but not the least important, this is an ongoing work. So, we would like to acknowledge all the coordination and development work to all the authors and institutions involved in the Elite Series Research Software Ecosystem, as well as all the grants and projects supporting this work. And that's all. We're going to be available at the Bioinformatics Open Source Conference poster session at panel A94. If you have any question about LHC Research Software Ecosystem or its components, do not hesitate to contact us or any member of the ecosystem, either in person or through internet.